Michael, how would you describe uh, your YouTube channel and what you're trying to accomplish with it? Yeah, so my YouTube channel is called Inspiring Philosophy. And the goal really is, as I, I told uh, my followers, we're trying to build a video library. We want to try to have a video for every apologetic question out there, every objection to Christianity, everything we can use to argue for Christianity. So if you've got a question like the Council of Nicaea or what's going on in 2 Kings 3, you can go right there and uh, search for it and find it in our library. So the vision will be, that's going to be a pretty massive library by the end, if I can look up 2 Kings 3. I mean, it's, well, it's gonna... there's a specific issue in 2 Kings 3 that I'm focusing on right, right now okay, uh, okay. with the whole Mesha and his sacrifice thing. But obviously it's not going to be every single chapter. It, it, we just, we're going to focus on specific issues. Okay. Uh, like, for example, uh, what's going on with the serpent in Genesis 3? Uh, is that a, is that a, is that an actual talking snake or is it possibly Satan himself? How do we know? Or you know what's going on with the Gospels? Do we have any good evidence? How you deal with this contradiction? Did does John contradict the synoptics on which day Jesus was crucified? Well, we have a video on that. So that's the kind of stuff we're dealing with. Gotcha. So I'm, I'm very interested in life journeys of what, why people arrive where they do and what they and what they give their becomes their passion and what they do with that passion. And so uh, I'm not re asking for necessarily your life story, but mm -hmm. on the other hand, why did you arrive at this place where now you dedicate that kind of time and that effort? Uh, what what were the pivot points in your life that led you to that? Oh, the simple answer is that at the time, I didn't think a lot of people were. Uh, I had just finished school. I got my bachelor's in film and video editing. And the only job I could get was working nighttime security jobs where I would basically sit in a trailer and do nothing for eight hours. <laughs> but I had my computer with me and I'm like, you know what, I could make some videos. And so that's how I kind of started to get going. I thought there wasn't a good Christian presence on YouTube. Uh, there, there was some here and there, but there wasn't a lot. And I thought I could contribute to that. So I saw a need, I, apologetics, studying history, philosophy is a passion of mine. So where my needs uh, met my desires is where I felt like God was calling me. Yeah, w w apologetics th itself, when did that become a passion? Was that something that really helped you in your conversion or did you just grow up with it? It was kind of natural to you, you're used to it. I mean, what's your story behind that entire topic? That's a funny story. I grew up in a very fundamentalist church. Uh, a lot of stuff that I don't I believe in. I mean, I still believe in every Orthodox position, but I mean, I don't believe in certain things that maybe the fundamentalists would, like, you know, would hold on to. But it really turned me off for Christianity. I thought it was all fire and brimstone, pushing people away. And it, it sort of pushed me into some sort of agnostic deist position. So I decided I was going to start looking for evidence against Christianity. And I think maybe by luck or fate, maybe, I found some of the worst evidence against Christianity. I had studied Egyptian mythology and Greek mythology for fun, and I kept encountering atheists trying to argue that Jesus was a copy of Horus or Dionysus or Mithra, and I had known from studying these mythologies that was utter nonsense, and so I was like, if this is the best I can find among atheists you know, at that current time, obviously there is better, but I didn't find it at the time, uh, maybe there's some better evidence for Christianity. So I went to C.S. Lewis, I went to some other apologists, and I thought the evidence for the resurrection is better than I thought. The evidence for the reliability of the New Testament is better than I thought. So through a slow, long process, I slowly came back to becoming a Christian. It wasn't, I didn't have a come to Jesus moment for me. It was wrestling with this objection until finally I think one day who knows when I decided that I think this makes sense and I think Christianity is the most coherent worldview yeah and what I love about that is I'm very confident you're not alone in that kind of journey that goes along that and also my favorite line is I studied Egyptian mythology for fun <laughs> well, hey Michael thank you so much for sharing your story with us and uh, where can people find you uh, you can find me on my website inspiringphilosophy.org I'm on YouTube youtube.com slash inspiring philosophy I do, I'm on TikTok. I do some comedy videos there as well, where I, uh, I go after some of the craziest stuff out there. But I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, same handle as well. All right. Excellent. Thank you.